This is a basic tutorial on how to engage with the Easy Coach and Twitch. If you've come to the website through theeasycoach.com, you can scroll down and go to our Twitch stream in the right hand side panel. If you click there, it'll take you to our page on Twitch. You can also go, of course, to twitch.tv slash theeasycoach. Once you're on our Twitch page, you'll be able to view videos and watch the live stream even if you're not logged in. But you won't be able to engage with us in any meaningful way. So the first thing you're going to want to do is log in if you have a Twitch account, or sign up if you don't. If you're signing up, you'll need to pick a username that is not in use on Twitch, select the password of whatever strength you want, set your birth date, and your email. Once you click sign up, you'll be signed in and able to interact fully with the page. The first thing you're going to want to do is follow the Easy Coach and turn on notifications. This will keep you engaged with the Easy Coach and give you notifications when we go online. You'll also want to secure your account by verifying the email. When you receive the email, it will look like this, and you simply click Verify Your Account. Now that you've logged in and you've followed the Easy Coach, you're receiving notifications. The next thing we want is to receive questions before and during the stream. If you come down the panel, you'll see this stream Q&A. And now that you're here, you can hit Let's Go. And you'll be able to see questions that have been asked previously. You can upvote these by clicking on this small triangle here and choose any number of points. 50 points is free, and any of these other levels of points require bits, which will cost some money if you want to do that, but they're a way to lean into questions that you like. You'll see other people's questions, and you'll be able to upvote them in this way. If you want to ask your own question, you have to go in and authorize this widget to be able to access your account. So if I click Authorize, it tells you you're granting Stream Q&A access to your Twitch ID. So now you can submit a question. You'll see that it has, you can revoke permissions if you want at any time, but now you can ask questions. So you can ask, you know, um, something like, Alright, so you'll see that your question is not showing up here. What happens is it gets submitted for moderation and a moderator will need to approve it before it shows up. If you don't see your question approved quickly, it may take a few moments for the moderator to respond. You can also go into chat, make sure you read our chat rules, and you can ask it to the group, you know, hey my question, I submitted a question but I don't see it popping up. That'll prompt a moderator to take a look. Once a moderator approves your question, you'll see it show up in the list here. And again, you can even upvote your own question with additional points, but by default, it'll show up to all the other users and they can also upvote your question. Your question then will come up in the list and that will show up to Ethan in the stream. Now, this is all happening while the stream is not live. When the stream is actually live, I wanna show you what that looks like. So if we go to my uh, channel, which is just over here, it's plus David here, You'll see that you can, uh, the, the, that is no longer below. You can actually click here to ask a question. It's the same interface, uh, and you'll be able to ask a question here. Same sort of thing happens. And if you want to upvote, you again can upvote here on the screen, but it will be in the video. And you'll be able to you know, close it down if you don't want to see it. You can even hide it. If you go down here in the center of the screen, you can make it invisible and it'll make it go away. That's essentially what you can do to make sure you can interact with the Easy Coach. But that's it. Enjoy using Twitch.